get into it. Hopefully I remember the names of all these. I have my little list here anyway, so I forget. Um, but we'll get started with Bestial Constitution. This one immediately just going into the D tier. This one alleviates Frost and Blood Loss buildup, which... It's only really useful in PvP because that's where you're going to get like Frost and Blood out the most. And you're not going to want to use this in the middle of a duel. And there's no point of actually using it because you're going to get Blood out in two hits with Bleed anyway, so doesn't even matter. Um, Beast Claw. I put this one in the B tier just for your pure like the posture damage that it can do alone. The stagger damage is actually pretty nice. Um, but... It's only like a ground attack, so you can't really hit enemies that are flying. I mean, it does like a wide um, AoE as well, which is pretty nice. Um, but that enemies that are like at a further distance can like dodge it pretty easily. Or can actually, you can miss enemies at a distance pretty easily. Um, I'm the Garang's Beast Claw. I like it the same. But I feel like it's easier to miss. I kind of want to put it in the C tier. I'm um, being based on both PvE and PvP. Yeah, I like. I'll consider both. Um, I'll put this one on the C tier. I just feel like I could like this one better because it comes out... Oh no, it comes at the same time. I'll put it both B tier. Beast of Vitality is in the A tier. Um, and you can't... You, good luck hitting anyone in PvP with these spells as well. So I kind of want to put them both in the C tier. We'll leave it there for now. I'll think about it. Beast of Vitality is A tier. It has obviously a little bit of health regen. A lot more of the other health regen spells get you a better... Um, HP per second, but this one lasts the longest, and it's the cheapest, and it's quick to cast. Solid A tier. Bestial Sling is going to be an S tier purely for PvP. We've just got doing my Beast, I mean, my Bestial Sling only run, and we did it, and it wasn't that bad. Isn't Bestial Vitality our class, but it's quick though. It has a use. It's not. I'm not going to put it in this tier because it has a use, and it's just very cheap for health regen, like very minimal faith you need. Um, yeah, Basil Sling, really solid in PvE and PvP. Surprising amount of stagger damage after it's got done my Bestial Sling only run. Actually trivialized a lot of bosses. Obviously some bosses were a lot harder than others, but was not that bad. This Stone of Garank that is going to go into the A tier. The fact that you can keep chaining it as well, it makes it good for chain casting. So if you can like use something like Bestial Sling into the Rock Sling is actually pretty good. Will do nice stagger and posture damage also. Really solid in PvE and PvP, really solid damage. So yeah, can't really complain about this solid ranged option. Um, the Blood Flame Blade, this one's also going to go into A tier. Anytime you can just do a little bit of blade is really solid. This one paired with another incantation, which we'll get into. I forget where it is. Here, yeah, Fire Deadly Sin. This, this makes for a stupid combination. Um, what's this one called again? It's the fucking Blood Boon, isn't it? Yeah. This one's terrible. Thanks for the follow, Matt. But yeah, Blood Boon is absolutely awful. Um, it's way too slow, it's way- it's hard to aim. Good luck hitting anything with it in PvP, it's very telegraphed and it doesn't even do that crazy of damage. Uh, same for this thing as well. For the, the, the claws, what is it? Talons, Blood Flame Talons. Yeah, same thing with this. They didn't do that much damage. Like, the initial cast, Blood Wound is an S. What are you on about? Have you used this thing? <laughs> but the Talons are just as bad, honestly. The initial hit with it isn't that good. Doesn't do much damage. And like the explosion afterwards. Actually, I think I like Bloodburn a little bit more. But yeah, this one's actually terrible. Soul Flies, S. No, I'm going to leave it in detour. Um, Really quick to cast. Tracks towards the enemies really nicely. Just does free bleed. Minimal cost. You can't really complain. Annoying. In, it's, you get that nerfed, so it's less annoying in PvP. But it's still an S tier. Um, for the dragon incantations, I put regular dragon fire in this debate here because I just rather have Aga Hill's flame. They were doing a lot of damage though with the blood boon. But how much more damage? Like are they? <laughs> yeah, swarm flies guarantee build up. Um, I, c I can put every single dragon incantation in the A tier because it is that good. But this one's just like a little bit. I'd rather just have this one. Um, same thing with the Frost. Any of the Dragon Spells are absolutely amazing. I just don't want to flood the whole A tier, because there's going to be a lot in A tier. Like this one. That does a lot of physical damage, as does this. Especially this one in PvP, the Dragon Maw. 
you'll be like people will think we're using it like Arga Hill's flame or something like that because that's used, get used a lot in PvP. But they just weren't expecting you just get to hit, just bite them in the mouth, and you pretty much like one shot most enemies because it does that much damage. Um, as for the rod and both can be at least A tier. Definitely this one's S. All the rod and breath attacks are just absolutely insane. Anytime you can proc Scarlet Rot really easily, and it does a whole bunch of damage as well. Yeah. The ways, reason I like these ones better, although they do cost more FP, is that you can jump and use them at the same time. And while you're airborne, you can actually keep um, spamming it and you don't really fall to the ground, which is why I like these a lot better than just the basic um, ones. Even though the basic ones are still good, they're still cheap as well. So they have their uses. Um, I'd just rather have this. Are the dragon ones by the name dragon ones? No, but as I said, I like the aerial combat a little bit better. That's just me. Yeah, I can put all of them in the A tier. I just don't want to flood the A tier. Same thing. The fact that you can do magic damage with incantations is insane. So definitely that. This one can also go into the S tier. The Grail's Roll or something like that. It doesn't do crazy damage. It does consume a lot of FP. I kind of want to put it into A tier because of that. But the fact that you can just debuff enemies pretty easily and knock them back is like actually insane. Hey, what's up, Shadow? Um... So yeah, the fact that you can just debuff enemies pretty easily and do like a bunch of knockback and stagger damage also. S tier. Now, as for these magma ones, I honestly don't... And I initially did not care for them, so magma breath and what's the other one? The Theodrix's magma, so... They can both go into S tier. Reason being, they don't do like that crazy damage. Like obviously the dragon ones, if you're just initially casting them, they're gonna be a lot better. But these can be chained. So you can do something like Catch Flame and chain it straight into either one of these attacks, which is actually insane. And it will just do a whole bunch of damage. Yeah. Um, Flaccid Sex Ruin. This one is going to go into the B tier. Reason being, obviously you get locked into the animation as soon as you do cast it. Thanks account. Um, which is not the greatest thing, and going to be airborne as well. So if you do get hit, it's going to be like staggered on the ground and like have a long recovery animation. It's going to be kind of annoying. The damage itself is pretty nice. It's a bit random as to like where it's gonna like the lasers are gonna hit. You not most of the time you're probably not gonna hit where you want to. But the reason it goes into B tier is because of that initial explosion that it does when you cast it, which is like extremely quick, and you pretty much can't dodge it because you can't predict it either. Especially with PvP, it just makes cleaning up kills just essential, and it just does a whole bunch of damage for that initial cast. So that's the only reason it gets into B tier. But if you do miss the initial cast, you're pretty much dead. Um, the Ancient Dragon's Lightning Spear, I'm gonna put it into the... Uh, put it A tier. I kinda put it in S tier. I put it in S tier. Not A tier, because it's pretty telegraphed in PvP. So, this one... One of my favorite lightning spells. It's cheap compared to like some of the other ones, and it still does really good damage. As soon as you're airborne, as soon as you cast it, you pretty much have hyper armor and poise throughout the entire casting animation. So that alone pretty much gives it A tier. And it's like cheaper than some of the other ones as well. Does like good damage, good AoE damage as well. So yeah. Um, Ancient Dragon's Lightning Strike. This one can also go into the A tier. I like this one better in PvP than I do in PvE. Because if you do hit with it, it does insane damage. And it's easier to hit with something like this than some of the other lightning spells in PvP. Um... Although it's still pretty easy to dodge, but it's not, it's definitely harder to dodge compared to something like this. But yeah, it does an insane amount of damage. It does like consume about like 30 something FP, which is a little high, but still pretty decent. Um, Death Lining, I don't really care much for this one. It does like an enormous amount of damage. I just feel like it's easier to hit with this because it has more range and it goes further. I could have beat her. Because it's not bad. It, does, it doesn't do bad damage. You can hit with it. I just feel like this one just better, in my opinion. And I think this one consumes two FP slots as well. Um, the Dragon Bolt Blessing. I put this one in the C tier. Because like the only thing that it does is like improve your... Actually, no, it deflects attacks as well. I put it in B tier. So if you use it, you do end up like deflecting attacks. But I don't think you can use other buffs alongside with it. Eh, I'll still leave it in B tier. Um, it has like lightning damage negation, which is fine as well. Um, lightning element, this one can go into the A tier, it's like the best 
um physical not best physical best um buff in the game pretty much in terms of um just raw damage output and this lightning is actually pretty solid in general because you know anyways that are in water and rain just does a bunch more damage um the fortis axe lightning spear i like this one a little bit less than this one purely because this one is consumes a lot more fp it's a longer animation and it pretty much does the exact same thing obviously do more damage but I just feel like this one's way more consistent compared to this. Um, the Frost Lightning Spear, this one going to the A tier. It's harder to hit compared to this, but it does Frost damage, which is great if you can cast, if you can inflict Frost onto an enemy as well. At the same time, pretty solid. Honed Bolt can go into the S tier. Um, the chain, the chain incantation, the weak capabilities you can do with this, especially after base steel sling, base steel sling, and you can spam Honed Bolt for days. This does enormous DPS. Doesn't stagger enemies like larger enemies that well, but the, how quick that you can cast it, it's insane. This one I'll put into the seater. Um, what's it called? That land sec, sec what other fuck that's called? The glaive, the lightning glaive. We're gonna call it that. So this one, I pretty much think this one is outclasses in every way. I think this one consumes more FP. This one has is more of like a projectile. How like it shoots lightning forward, but that lightning that it shoots forward isn't doesn't do that much damage. Like there's a lot of damage fall off when it does um shoot the lightning. So it pretty much does only do good damage as like a melee option, and I feel like this this one does it better because it's quicker and it has like an area of effect around it instead of just forward. So I just don't really care much with this one. Um lightning spear is gonna go into the A tier. I kinda wanna put it into S tier, but it's very solid. It's like your best projectile. Incantation of the game that's most consistent, it's easiest to hit. You can charge it as well, do even more damage. Uh, Lightning Strike, I also want to put into the A tier. Similar reasons as to why I like Home Bolt, you can keep chaining this one as well to make it a very quick cast, but I feel like Home Bolt's much more consistent with how it does its damage. But Lightning Strike is still really good. This is terrible. I wish I could put this in like a lower tier. The Dragon fucking Vikes Dragon Spear, oh, what the fuck it's called. I should look it up. Where is it called? Vikes Dragon Bolt, that's what it's called. So this one, it buffs your weapon with a worse buff than Lightning Armament, consumes more FP, and it buffs your body with the um, the Red Lightning, and its only purpose is to give you more equipment load. Which, why would you want more equipment load as a buff? That doesn't make any sense, like why would you want that? Like what are you going to be doing, frat rolling, then use the buff, then medium roll? Like, that... I don't know. And what sucks, I want to put this in C tier just because it just looks cool. But the fact that it looks cool kind of pisses me off even more. Because it's like it's one of the coolest looking spells in the game. It adds like, like a lightning thing to your character. And I don't think it actually decreases damage negation. I think it literally just... It might, it might, it might do, it might. I, I think that it literally just decreases... um, well, increases your equipment load. Which is kind of dumb. But yeah, that one annoys me. Oh, Black Blade, I want to put that one in the A tier. Any reason why I wouldn't put in S, even though it has like enormous amounts of rage, does decent damage, and obviously the damage over time combined with the fact that it has the um, decrease of maximum HP. It just consumes a lot of FP, and I think it requires two spell slots, but it procs on phantom hits and PvP, so just that alone makes it A tier. Is this on Blessing of the Earth Tree and Blessing's Boon? Yeah, I mean, we put Blessing of the Earth Tree in the A tier. It's like the best health regen spell in the game. Does like 12 HP a second, which is actually insane. Kind of want to put it into the S tier because, well, the health regen is not that crazy anyway in this game. Um, Blessing's Boon, it's, it's kind of just outclassed, I guess. But it's cheaper, so it has its use. What are I say tier? Elden Stars, D tier. I don't care what anyone says about this in PvP. It's so dumb. I don't care for it. I any time anytime it's used, I just don't even think about it. I just like get hit by the projectiles. I don't care. You can get by hit by every single one of those like little pissed out projectiles in PvP. It doesn't matter how much faith they have. If you had like 80 faith and you get hit by the entire combo, obviously not including the massive explosion. But that's like getting hit by like one beast you're sling. Like it doesn't I, I don't care. I don't care. Anytime it gets used against me in PvP, I just tank it because I know it does no damage. If you get hit by like the in the initial explosion, whatever, but it's I don't care for it. I don't care. 
And then anyone that uses this in a duel, you can just run up to them and punch them in the face. Like, it, like whatever. Um, a tree heal. It, I'm gonna put it into the S tier because it just fucking had, does so much. It's like the best heal in the game, obviously, but it heals like so much fucking health, especially how much, obviously, dependent on your um your faith stat. But that's why Elden Stars just kills your frames. True, it S tier. But yeah, the amount of health that you get from this is actually insane. Um, Golden Vow is another S tier. Although it doesn't really give you much benefit in PvP, it's like 7%, but it's still a fresh 7% that you wouldn't otherwise have in damage and defense as well. The fact that it boosts both for like a minute and something is actually really good. Um, Wrath of the Wrath of the Gods, I want to say Wrath of the Gods, but Wrath of Gold. Um, I kind of want to put it in S, but it's A tier. Obviously it knocks enemies backwards as well, so it sends them flying, as well as doing a whole bunch of holy damage, which is actually really, really good. Probably one of the best melee-based um, incantations in the game. But yeah, I, re I really like this one a lot. Anytime I run like a, any type of faith build, I'm just always running this one. Because it does like... It's pretty quick as well in this game as well, so... It does about a thousand damage, really. Just instantly. And it's pretty hard to dodge as well. Um, the aspect of the Crucible Breath Attack. I'm going to put this one in Saint tier. Like, it consumes way too much FP for what it does. I kind of want to put it in the D tier. But we'll even see. But... It consumes way too much FP. It's like a short-range breath attack that has, like, good, like, um, area cone. But... You're not really going to be using this one, like, at all. Because it doesn't do that much stagger damage also. And you're better off just using literally any of the other spells coming up. Because... It doesn't do that much damage. Um, the aspect of the Crucible Horn is actually really good though. That one can go into the A tier. That one can be used as a very long range attack as well, depending on how if you hold onto the spell. And it will knock back enemies, send them flying, do good follow, um, stagger damage as well as posture damage. Thanks for the follow account. Um, the tail I don't care for either. I'll put that one in the C tier. I feel like both of these need to get a buff. Um, in PvP, you're not going to really hit with it. It's very telegraphed. And, like, the follow-up attack that it gets has good range, but what I don't like about it is if you have to hold onto it the whole time, it's not like a double input. If it was a double input, I'd like it a lot more, because you have to, like, commit to holding onto it to do the follow-up attack. If it was, like, click L1, or whatever button your things, if you press it and then press it again, that would have been cool, but you have to hold onto it to commit, which is kind of annoying. Burn a Flame S tier, immediate S tier. You're not going to hit anyone with the PvP, but in PvE, it's just absolutely insane. does so much damage. It's the best area of effect spell in the game. You can hit enemies multiple times without sending them flying up in the air. It's fucking ridiculous. Um, Fire Deadly Sins are still bugged. I'm not sure if it's still bugged or I haven't bothered fixing it, but it still works with status effects, which is just dumb. This is the shit one. What the fuck's this one called again? Flame of the Fell God. That one's a detour. It travels so slowly that it's not even worth using. This one's it's similar to like that moon spell that the um, sorcerers get, but it just doesn't travel quickly. It just travels very, very slowly. It can it comes into contact with anything and it just explodes. It does good damage against an enemy that that is not aware of you, but outside of that, I wouldn't bother using it. It consumes way too much FP as well as consumes like multiple FP slots, so I don't care. Um, what's this one? Flame Fall Upon Them. I like this one a lot. I want to put this one into the S tier. This one does an enormous range. Hey, well, it has really good range. You can hold on to it as well to do, like, insane damage. You just want to end up doing more damage than Lightning Spear. Obviously, it's harder to hit at long distances because it shoots multiple projectiles. But, um, Yeah. And it does an enormous amount of stagger damage and posture damage also to enemies, so it's really good. And being that it has like a wider area without a throws, it's actually easier to hit in PvP also. Or it's like harder to dodge in PvP, let's say. Uh, this one, Giant's Flame Take. The, this one's really good as well. I kind of want to put this one to the S tier. Um, A tier though. You can like send enemies flying with this thing. So any enemy that it hits will just pretty much get sent flying. In PvP, it's still like hard to hit because it's a 
a flame projectile that had never been easy. But you can like free aim it and try and like predict where they're gonna roll and end up hitting them. Does consume a lot more FP and multiple slots, whereas like this does not, which is why I have it higher because it's cheaper, easier to spam. But if you do hit with this, it will do an enormous amount of damage. Um, catch flame S tier. It's so quick. Probably like the best DPS out of any of the um incantations. You can just keep constantly spamming it and spamming it. Obviously, you have to ride on top of them, but in PvP, PvE, you're just doing so much damage, it's not even funny. Flame Sling, I kinda wanna put in the outclass tier, because it's like it's like your first basic bitch ass pyromancy attack, so it's meant to be bad. Um which one is is this the flame cleanse me? Yeah, it's flame cleanse me. This one is actually useful, unlike, you know, this. Because you do end up curing yourself of Scarlet Rot and Poison a lot in this game. Not a lot, but it's useful. I'm I mean, I'm just going to put on the beats here because it's very situational. It's nice to have, I guess. Um, Flame got me strength. Uh, I kind of put it into the A tier because I only lost 30 seconds. It still buffs your weapons or buffs your fire and physical damage pretty well. But it only lasts 30 seconds. If it lasted a bit longer, I'd put it into the S tier, but it just really doesn't. I mean, it's good for dueling, I guess. But yeah. A tier is where it goes. Um, Flame Protect Me. This one's a kind of like another... There's not going to be many areas in the game where you need to have fire protection. You're not going to really bother using this anyway, so I don't really care for it. So I'm just going to put it into the C tier because I'd rather cleanse myself of Poison on Scarlet Rod before I um give myself more fire damage negation, which is... Kind of minimal in this game. O Flame, I honestly like just as much as Catch Flame. But Catch Flame is like a lot easier to cast. So I'm gonna put this one to the S tier as well. This one honestly does like a lot more damage than Catch Flame. Obviously, it's not gonna cast anywhere near as quick. But they, I think they buffed the casting speed and the damage recently. And you can fully charge it, and it will just do an enormous amount of damage. And it will stagger enemies a lot nicer than this would. And do posture break as well when it's fully charged. So. S tier for that one. These are terrible. Fla like Flame Surge, flame Fire Whip, they're awful. They should have stayed in Dark Souls where they were actually decent, but in this game they're just absolutely awful. I don't know what they did to them to make them so bad, but they just are. Terrible damage, waste so much FP when you do use them. You get lo like stuck in an animation with like the Fire Whip and yeah, not even gonna bother. Um, Frenzied Burst, that one can go to the A tier, it's like the longest range incantation. And it will do a decent amount of damage, and like it fires extremely quick as well. Hey, what's up, foes? So yeah, just for that alone, A tier, it's obviously extremely good in PvP as well. Kind of want to put it into the S tier. Just because how, like, you can hit with it very well. And, but it is a slow casting speed. And you can't really move much, because you get stuck in that animation. So I'll put it in the A tier just because it's slow. Um, the Hell of the Shibiri. This one, it does actually stagger enemies pretty nicely in PvE. So you can like posture break enemies with this nicely, but past that, don't really care for it. In PvP, it's not going to do that much damage either. I will do like a little bit of madness build up, which is nice, but you better if using the other incantations for madness build up because the um, phantom hits actually work with these. Obviously still work with that, but you get stuck in that animation and I think you have like a recovery animation as well. So I'm just going to put into the C tier because it's easily punished. Um... Inescapable Frenzy. I think this one's a grab attack, and I don't care for this one either. Obviously, you can't really use it on PV PvE because you're not really grabbing with it. And you're not hitting anyone with this in PvP unless they're, like, terrible at the game. Like, let's be real. Um, Flame of Frenzy. I feel like this one's an S tier because it's actually good in PvE as well. So, this one obviously does madness build up extremely well in PvP. But it's actually a decent AoE spell in Pv um, PvE as well. Because it actually does really good stagger and posture damage. You would posture break enemies really nicely with this. Obviously it will consume a lot more FP. And obviously you have to worry about the fact that madness is going to inflict upon yourself. But it's really not that bad. Hellish Shibiri gives you 25 damage buff. buff. Makes it 30% more damage. Oh, buffs you as well. A tier. Um, Unendurable Frenzy. I'm just going to put this into the A tier. Because it just consumes way too much more FP, because well, this thing just does like the exact same thing, but just more consistently at a less FP cost. Although they're both nice, but still eight tier. Um, Black Flame. Eight tier. 
I don't like it as much as the other projectile attacks, and I feel like you can do more damage with the other ones, even though this one has that damage over time, which is really good. Um, it does work with the god, like, it buffs, the god slayer seal buffs these type of incantations, and the god slayer seal is, like, one of the best seals in the game, so they kind of work hand in hand as well, so I think that alone makes the A tier. This is just terrible. D tier. Um, it's, like, a, a quick buff, you'd expect a quick buff that only lasts, like, 10 seconds or whatever to actually do more damage, but no, it does, like, little damage, and I, I don't know. I, I don't know why this didn't work. This is, like, a quick buff that does a lot of damage at once, but it only lasts, like, 10 seconds. But, like, no, it's a quick buff that it's quick to cast, lasts 10 seconds, but it's terrible damage. It's even worse damage than something like Electrify Element, so I don't I don't know what's up with that. Black Flame Ritual, this one's also going to the A tier. This one is... I like to use this one. I like to cast it. And in PvP, you're not going to hit with it. Let's be real. But I like to cast it and have enemies run towards me. It does bl the Black Flame, like, you know, a satisfaction. I know that, but it lasts like 7 seconds and doesn't do any more damage, really. It doesn't buff your opponent with more damage. Which I would I'd like. I like to have, like, at least the same amount and then you have the damage over time, but it's 7 seconds. Yeah, like... But this one, as I was saying, I like to cast it and have enemies run towards me, and this one will do like the satisfactory damage over time as well. Or I would like to combo with with something like O Flame, stagger them with that, and then switch to this, and then cast it, and then probably spam more Catch Flame or something like that. But this one's actually really solid, although a bit more situational. You're not going to really use it against bosses. Oh, you still could, because bosses don't really read this as a spell; they just like walk straight through it. Um, Black Flame Protection, another A tier spell. Only lasts like the 30 seconds, but more damage negation is really, really good. Especially against some bosses, will definitely save you. Um, Noble Presence, I kind of want to put this one into the A tier. I should have made it A plus tier and an A tier, honestly. I'll probably organize it at the end, and the ones are the best at the top, and the ones not as good at the bottom. But Noble Presence is really good. You can keep spamming this. It will. It doesn't have that much range, but if you have it fully charged, it will get a bit more. But the stagger potential alone with this and posture break damage is honestly really good, and I think this one works well with the, um, that armor piece, I think it is. The fat noble armor piece. I think it boosts alongside with it, and alongside if you're using the, um, God Slayer seal, it will just do a decent amount of damage, it will do that damage over time also. Um, the Scouring Black Flame, I'm gonna put into the D tier. Only because it's really buggy when you're fighting, like, uphill or downhill battles. The hit detection is so weird. Like, if you hit with it, it's really good. Like, probably one of the best spells in the game. But only if you're fighting on a flat surface. If you're not fighting on a flat surface, this spell is borderline useless. So just because of that stupid bug and hit detection, I'm going to put into the B tier. All of, like, the Discus Rings of Light spells are fucking terrible. Don't care for either one of them. I'm just going to put them all there now. Actually, I like this one a little bit more. But it's still so slow. You don't get hyper armor when you cast it. It does... It has intelligence scalings alongside the faith scalings, and they just... Not much use of them at all. They're pretty shit. I don't care for them. I mean, I like this one. Okay, it's... It just doesn't do great damage. Like, you're not fooling anybody with this. Like... Only if you... If nobody has gone against this in PvP, then you might fool somebody with this, but you're really not. Anyway, moving on. The Immutable Shield is actually an A tier option. Because, I mean, I kind of want to put an A-tier. This dodge. Dodging is better than blocking anyway. But it makes, like, any shield into an absolute tank. So, there's good. You can, like, block literally anything with this. Which is, it's cool, but just dodge. Easy game. Um, Lore of Causality. This one's... Oh, that's on the Retaliation. Yeah. This one's cool. I'd put it into the C-tier. It's very situational, you're not going to really... Honestly, I honestly haven't used that much. I'm... yeah, c because I haven't used that much. I think I used it like one time, I haven't tested it out thoroughly, so I can't really speak much on this, not going to lie. I'm Lore of Aggression. c tier for the... I stay for the trolling. It's pretty funny. I put an A-tier for trolling. So, yeah, anyone that's used the buff just instantly do debuffs them, pretty funny. This is just terrible, I don't know the fuck this it even exists. What's this one called then? Litany of Proper Death. This one is so dumb. It's literally only use is to kill skeletons. 
they made a spell to kill skeletons. Like, obviously it's useful against other enemies as well, but, like, it's a skeleton killing spell. Like, skeletons aren't that hard. Come on now. Outside of enemies that are weak to holy damage, it does, like, 20 damage. It's so bad. I don't get it. Anyway. What's it called? Order healing this one alleviates death blight build up. That's one that can go in the D tier, like... There's- what- what can actually proc death on you, I don't even know. I guess like the big dumb bird, but like I've never gotten procced by death by that once. The basculus, you can just run past them. I- yeah, I don't know. Um, Order's Blade. This one can go into the C tier. Because you have to spec into intelligence to get a... Um, like a faith-based buff. I don't know why that's a thing. Thanks for the follow, Vathrex. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you have to... Oh, I was a sub. Never mind. Thanks for the sub, man. I'm blind. Oh, no, then you subbed. Okay. Thanks for the sub, Miguel. I wasn't blind. So, why do you have to spec into intelligence to use a faith buff? I don't know. Um, And even then, you probably end up doing more damage with... It doesn't... I don't think it scales of intelligence either. So, like, because it scales off your seal, so... I mean, if you're using the um, Erd Tree Seal, not the Erd Tree Seal, the um, Golden Order Seal, then it will scale off both. Um, thanks for the amazing content, Elmo. <laughs> yeah, I wish this was just like another Lightning element, like Sunlight Blade, you know, but they kind of ruined that. Pest Threads, that one can go into the S tier. The amount of damage you can do against larger bosses is actually insane. So, against smaller bosses, it's not going to do much... I'm staggering or posture breaking at all, but against any large enemy, it's just going to do so much damage because it hit them multiple times. In PvP, it's pretty annoying to go up against as well because enemies will just try and like run away. It's like a slow moving, but then it goes travels quicker, so it's like harder to dodge and it's very annoying when you're invading as well. So, poisonous mist, it's it does poison, which is cool. Adds poison to your weapon, but being that weapons that can be buffed in this game, you aren't really that amazing anyway, you'd rather just do more damage in most cases. Or just bleed, but... Poison is another status effect that's still good, so... Bait tier, Poisonous Mist. That's another poison effect, I guess it's cool. This Scarlet Aeonia shit, that's terrible, it's D tier. It takes way too long to cast. The recovery animation is awful as well. So yeah, I don't, I don't know why it's so slow to cast. It doesn't... And, I think it uses like three FP slots and does so much dumb, requires so much FP. And you'd think for all that, it will just do so much damage, but it really doesn't. It really doesn't do that much damage. You'd expect like one shot plays in PvP with it, but it really doesn't. It would like, it'll definitely proc Scarlet Rod, which is fine, but um, it's so slow. I don't get it. And they buffed it to where like the recovery animations, I don't know. I don't even know why they made this into the spell. Like just leave it as a boss's attack, then just probably take one of other... Whatever. Not gonna bother talking about it. Um, what is this thingy? Oh, this is Assassin's Approach. C, C tier. I, um, I don't care for like stealth in this game at all. All of these damage negation spells can go into the B tier. I mean, they're very strong, so they're honest, they can go into the A tier. So obviously go up against a certain enemy that's using one or the other. It's still gonna be really good. Although by that time that you get half of these, you're already past that boss in the game. So technically, like, the holy damage negation is the best one. Because the time you actually get that and you have enough um, faith to use it against Radagon and um, Elden Beast. So I guess that one's really the only viable A tier option. Using this in PvP is just corny, like, whatever. And this is the stuff that says outclassed, because it's just like the worst version of this. Because that's I think that's Cure Poison. Because this stuff, it is like a 10% buff, and this one buffs you and your allies, but like I think it's like 20%, I want to say. Darkness is a C tier. I know C tier. Yeah, C tier, yes. I can't, I don't want to put it into the D tier because it's actually, it actually has, I've used it a couple times. And there have been times where actually you can cast it, and you can hide in the thing and actually use some like weapon art that's like ranged. And enemies aren't, won't actually see it. It actually has a very slight use, although sound cues exist, so you can actually like hear the sound of like a weapon art or a spell firing on the other side of it, so you can just spam roll. But it is a cool concept, I just feel like they should have added more to this spell. 
But yeah. All the healing spells are just outclassed, really. Wait a minute. I put Lord's Heal in the S tier. There's Eritrea Heal. Um, Rejection, B tier. I would just rather have Wrath of the Gods. This, although this one does cast a bit quicker, but I'd rather just do more damage just in case they don't fall off the ledge. Although it is a much higher FP requirement, so if you have minimal FP, I'll put it in the A tier. If you have minimal FP, but you want to like ledge kill somebody in PvP, whether you're invading, it's still pretty solid. Um, what is that one again? Lord's Aid. Oh, that, that alleviates blood loss, sleep build up. Yeah, no. Don't care, you're not going to want to use a, a spell that takes that long to alleviate poison or blood loss or whatever, you know. I'm good. That one can go with the rest. Um, Shadow Beat. So, this is like your alluring skulls. Actually, not that bad. I'm going to put another beat here. It, it does its job. So, if you're trying to get through an area where enemies are just, like, fucking you up, and there's a whole bunch of them, you can just cast that. It doesn't go that far, but it, it does the job, so... If you're struggling to go through an area, that's perfectly fine. Or you can just put on Bloodhound Step and just like dash through your whole area anyway, so... There is that. Now let's fix up this list because it looks awful. Okay, what are the best in S tier? Um, I feel like Catch Flame is probably the best in Burner Flame. Um, Bestial Sling as well, that can go up there. Golden Veil can stay up there too. Storm of Flies. Um, this one, the Scarlet Rot Dragon, is actually insane. I'll probably put that on a little bit higher. The Gargoyles finally did. Nice, man. Fortisex Lightning Spirit under Asian Dragon Lightning Spirit? Yeah, because it's cheaper and it's quicker. You don't get locked into the whole animation. And it does, like, pretty much the same thing. Obviously, this one doing, like, more damage, but... Um, more of a fan of that. Pest threads, that one can go a bit lower because it's only useful against larger enemies. I'm going to put this one up here because the chaining capabilities of this is insane. Um, doing frost damage with the dragon is insane as well. Uh, that's fine. That's fair. How's rejection that highest is outclassed with Wrath of the Gods? But I think it's quicker than Wrath of the Gods. And it's very, it's cheaper, and, um... I still think Wrath of the Gods is better. But it's cheaper. So if you're not expecting to any faith, you can still ledge kill people. Because I think it's like a 12 or 13 faith requirement, which is not that high at all. So yeah, the, the potential to ledge kill somebody... ...is still there without having to spec into faith. That's probably the reason why I still give it an A tier. Um, as for A tier... ...I like Wrath of the Gods. Um, put that one up high too. I like this one too. Definitely like this one. This one's a high A tier. Hmm, not too sure. Elden Ring, best game ever? Probably. If the like, the balancing was a little bit better. Well, wait till DLC comes out. Hopefully, a lot of the problems are fixed by then. Um, Blade, because it works well with Fire Deadly Sin. The stone's pretty good as well. Um, I don't say I like Noble Presence a lot, but nah, pretty, it's still pretty middle A tier. Mikella DLC, Crucible Horn should be in B tier, short range, not... The Crucible Horns? Nah, because it staggers and posture breaks enemies really nicely. And if you hold on to the incantation, it goes so far. I don't, I don't think I put it like... I put a low A tier, I wouldn't put a high A tier, but I think it's definitely an A. Because now that I'm looking at it, a lot of the B tiers are kind of mid. Whereas, like, I think all these spells are really good. And these are just the best of the best. These I just don't care for. And then that's just D, so. Um, B tier, this one can definitely stay on top of B tier. I'm going to put this one higher as well. Because it's still really good. But it's just the hit detection so weird that I just don't like it. Um, flame growing strength would actually go a lot higher as well. I kind of want to... 
That's not fighting strength. That's flame cleanse me. Never mind. I was like, that's where I put the nature. Speaking of which, put that higher. Um, I could put shadow bite higher. It does its job. I'm angry. Rejection is an eight. <laughs> it's useful. It says lock, lock people. You know that literally carried me through every invasion in Dark Souls Three. If it was like a three v one, it was like fucking find a ledge, use force. I didn't do it that much in this game though, because you don't need to ledge kill people. So, because you can just do damage really quickly and kill them like a couple of combos. And just for you, I'll put it. I'll put it top B tier. Um. As for the worst spells in the game, that one go down there. Elden Stars is terrible as well. All of these discus shitty things that can go down there. This one pisses me off so much because this is not good but looks so cool. Bob don't have aimed well. Bleed would be very low B. Yeah. I just I it's so hard to hit with it. I can still put a C tier, because it's not it's not as bad as these. Okay, in hindsight it's not as bad as those. So I can I can put into the C tier. Because if you do hit with it, it will do decent damage. But the hit detection is like so weird, it's very hard to hit with it. Because like you have to like aim it higher and shit on this fucking word. Thanks for the follow, no skill. I wish there was like, um... If you like held onto it or something like that, it did like mogs like AoE attack where you like rains from above or something like that. Instead of just on the one attack. Or if you like just chain it into like certain combos, I don't know. What does go further? But I don't feel like I'm pretty happy with this list. Gravestone still buffs, buffs it, not communion. What's this for? The dragon lightning strike should be S tier because the dragon communion still plus yeah the drag yeah the gravelstone still buffs that one. Dragon communion cell, boost dragon spells. That's correct, but that that's not a um, that's still a lightning spell. The dragon spells are like the dragon head spells. It's a lightning spell. <laughs> 